Now let's talk about the routers in Nuxt.js and we know there is a Nuxt link. So what if I want to navigate from about page to home page or to inspire page? So we need to have some kind of anchor tag. But in Nuxt we have we are using the view router and if you are familiar with view router what you generally do you will create this kind of things router hyphen link and here you will provide to to slash that means home so if i save this file on this about page we have a link called home and if i click here yeah we are on the home page but even more advanced thing is there there is called next link next link is going to work with the server side also so that's very important it's again extension of router link so if i now go to next dot next file inside this we will find somewhere on the component yeah we have next link so you can see this next link is actually extending this router link which i just explained you so this is going to work similarly and if i now go on home yeah we are having here so this is same but you know with next there are many possibilities so instead of just typing next hyphen link you can simply type n hyphen link and this is going to work properly so yeah it is working so refresh yeah similarly one more alias is there you can simply use next with a capital n and hyphen instead of hyphen just use capital l so next and capital l for link next link so this is exactly same working absolutely fine and one more yeah one more available one more alias is there so just say n link n link again next link so we have this and it is working so we have n link then we have next link then we have this kind of n hyphen link and then we have the real next link like this so we have this uh, totally four kind of uh, alias for same thing so whatever you want to use that's great but you know we want to have links for every pages and that's the point we need to move to the layouts directory and what i'm going to do i will open beautify because we have used beautify on our next application so uh, go to beautify and go to get started by the way beautifyjs.com is the website and here on the search bar just type toolbar click on this toolbar and yes we have this toolbar so open the code copy these codes for toolbar and i will go to the layouts folder and here on this default i'm going to paste it so i will remove everything and paste it even i will remove this data i don't want it for now so yeah we have these three link and title is learning next so if i go here and refresh this page yes we have these things and yes there is some problem with the font we will solve it later but now let's change these link to our link home about and inspire so the, this is buttons so i want to have a n link so n link is going to be like this or whatever type of n link you want to use so two part for this is going to be let's say home so i will call it home let's see how it's going to work okay there's some some kind of problem so why not use this link inside this button so inside the button i'm going to use this link so this time if i refresh this page yeah it's looking nice and now we can click here and we can go to home page so that's not working why let's see on the console uh n link okay so it has to be n hyphen link otherwise you need to use capital n there 
so yeah this time you can see now it's converted to a link if i click here i am on the home page <laughs> and yes you can see i am on the home page that's uh, not showing because again we have missed out the next so next self closing and now we can't have two html tags so let's move this inside a simple div and now these things are going to work properly yay so let's just quickly do same thing with about so let's remove this about slash about and one more time inspire inspire so we have three links and three links are going to populate very soon yeah we have this so about go to about home about inspire oops inspire is using different layout so let's change this inspires layout and actually remove it so it will get the default one and this time yeah everything is working absolutely fine so this is the way you can create the next changing of the page so you can see the page is changing but there is no refresh it is single page application we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye